these are the best free cybersecurity resources for 2023. So there are plenty of online courses, boot camps, etc., that you can find out there. If you're a beginner and are looking to get into cybersecurity with no previous experience, but I do think that free resources can be just as good as paid resources, especially the ones that we'll be covering in today's video. So be sure to stick until the end to find the best beginner cybersecurity resource for you. First up is OWASP. OWASP stands for the Open Web Application Security Project. And you're probably typically hear about it specifically focusing on the OWASP Top 10, but it is a nonprofit organization that ranges beyond just the OWASP Top 10 to provide resources on how to keep applications secure for cybersecurity professionals, as well as software engineers or anyone else who is part of that software development lifecycle of a web application. As a nonprofit organization that focuses on improving the security of software and web applications, OWASP provides resources, tools, and documentation to help organizations and developers build code more securely and protect web applications from various different types of common security vulnerabilities and risks. They offer a wide range of web application security guides, cheat sheets, as well as training courses to help educate cybersecurity professionals on how to understand and address security concerns from an organization's perspective. They also develop and maintain a comprehensive set of tools, guides, and frameworks to help developers build applications securely and one of these is what they're most well known for and that is the OWASP top 10 which is essentially a list of the top 10 most common vulnerabilities that you can find in web applications and along with that list of top 10 most critical web application vulnerabilities they also provide resources and guidance on how to mitigate them because of this OWASP is a very well-known community and organization by security engineers security analysts ethical hackers as well as of course software engineers if you're just starting out in cybersecurity and you're interested in that intersection of cybersecurity and software engineering. Personally, I think OWASP has probably some of the best resources that you can find out there, even if it's just getting started on getting familiar with the OWASP top 10, which tends to be the most popular resource that they have. But don't forget that they have many other guides, training courses, and other learning resources that are provided by this nonprofit on their website. Next up is NICS, or the National Initiative for Cybersecurity Careers and Studies. NICS is essentially a program that was created by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to increase the nation's cybersecurity workforce. I say this specific statistic many times on my channel and that is the fact that there are going to be 3.5 million cybersecurity roles by 2025 and there aren't enough cybersecurity professionals to fill these roles. And that personally I think is very alarming especially with so many organizations and companies coming online with larger surface area for attacks by external threats and that is another reason why I personally am very passionate about getting more attention into cybersecurity jobs because personally I do think it's one of the best roles in tech out there with job stability, high starting salaries, as well as a very good career growth and the primary goal of the NICS initiative is to bring in more people into cybersecurity. They provide cybersecurity training, education, resources, as well as career development opportunities to help you get started to gain the skills that cybersecurity teams are hiring for so that we're able to fill that skill gap and employment gap that so many companies are seeing in the cybersecurity sector. On their website, you'll find various career resources available as well as job listings, which is another great resource to use if you're currently on the job market for a cybersecurity role. Nick provides you a list of cybersecurity training offered at different skill levels as well as different areas of cybersecurity. So you can search and look for these specific courses that you're most interested in and many of them are also available online and you can learn at your own pace. NYX also promotes various cybersecurity certifications and provides all the information to you in a comprehensible way, specifically about the different types of certifications that you can get as a cybersecurity professional, as well as the prerequisites and requirements that you may need to complete that certification. You can also use NYX to stay up to date on cybersecurity news, any new trends or emerging threats that are coming up in the sector, as well as cybersecurity events and conferences, which personally I think is a great resource, especially if you're just getting started. It's a great way to immerse yourself and also be able to network with other people who may be in a role in cybersecurity that you may be interested in. But they also have an online community where you can interact with other cybersecurity enthusiasts in various different discussions and forums. So while NYX does provide free resources and information to anyone who is interested in cybersecurity, some of the training programs listed on their website do have costs associated with them. So that's definitely something to keep in mind while you're also browsing through the free resources available. Are IT issues slowing down your day? Looking for a platform to remotely monitor and manage your systems with cybersecurity included? Introducing Pulseway, your ultimate IT monitoring and management platform where security is their top priority. Pulseway is a mobile-first IT management platform that keeps organizations protected against security threats through customizable patch management policies and ransomware detection available on their platform to keep users safe. They also have security features such as two-factor authentication, code signing, brute force protection, encryption, and more. Their platform gives you real 
real-time alerts, server and CPU monitoring, unlimited remote control sessions, and powerful IT automation, which are just a few things that Pulseway can do for you. Be in control of all your systems and endpoints, and the best part, do it all from any device closest to you. If you're not convinced, what if I told you you can even run commands with the power of your voice? Don't let IT troubles hold you back and try Pulseway today for free and experience the true IT power. You can check out Pulseway's cybersecurity bundle offer, which includes your remote monitoring and management platform using the link in my description below. The next free resource on this list is Metasploit Unleashed. This is especially perfect for those of you who may be interested in going into threat teaming or offensive security. It's essentially the free community-driven beginner's guide to get started with Metasploit, including installation and setup, exploitation techniques, post-exploitation, as well as providing detailed ethical hacking walkthroughs, tutorials, and examples to help you understand how to use Metasploit effectively, whether it's for a feature capture the flag or in a real-world use case. Metasploit Unleashed has different modules that each focus on a specific feature within the Metasploit framework. For example, concepts like scanning, payload generation, exploit development, evasion techniques, as well as of course the ethical use of Metasploit for penetration tests and ethical hacking assessments. It's freely accessible online and it's a highly valuable resource for those of you who are just getting started in offensive security that you can use along with hacking practice challenges or capture the flags that you're working on. Because it's able to provide you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started using Metasploit as well as real-world examples of what that walkthrough will actually look like, I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't used Metasploit before or are just getting started. Next up is Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. Since we're on the topic of offensive security, these two are online platforms with hacking challenges that you can use to practice using different security tools, understanding how to exploit a vulnerability, as well as getting hands-on experience on what a penetration test or an ethical hack may look like. They provide a gamified environment for practicing and improving your pen testing and cybersecurity skills, as well as a wide range of VMs that you can use with different difficulty levels that also simulate real-world attack scenarios. This allows you to identify vulnerabilities and exploit them to be able to pass or complete the challenge. Because both of these platforms provide you a hands-on and practical way to practice, to learn, and use your cybersecurity skills, you're able to develop a lot more quickly in areas like web application security, cryptography, reverse engineering, which by the way, specifically for reverse engineering, CrackMe's is another great option if you're looking specifically to get into reversing. That is also a free resource. Hacktobox and TryHackMe also have very large community organizations, so you're able to engage with the community do different forums and questions if you're working on a specific challenge and also gives you the opportunity to learn from others. I do have a link below to join Hack the Box if you're interested, and that is down in my description below. But both platforms also regularly release different new challenges all the time so that you're always able to find different challenges to work on so that you're able to focus on continuous learning to solve various different types of problems and now on the blue team side of things if you're interested in defensive security while i haven't found in many platforms that simulate a real world blue team soc type scenario that isn't a paid offering there are open source tools like the hive project and elastic security which respectively provide an open source incident response platform as well as an open source SIEM or security information and event management system. These two tools are probably going to be the primary ones that an SOC or defensive security team are going to use when they're looking through logs or events in an SIEM. And if there's anything suspicious or found, then you'll be using an incident response platform that could look something like the Hive project. Obviously the exact vendor or tool that, that companies will use really are going to vary depending on the company. I'm sure there are dozens to hundreds of them out there, but they typically will provide similar types of features. For example, the SIEM, giving you the ability to source logs, to import logs from various different resources, be able to view them, categorize them, label them, look through them, maybe create some search queries in the Elastic Security tool. And then on the Hive project, you'll be able to create incidents, you'll be able to manage and analyze security incidents, and it also provides collaboration, tracking, and response automation features. Both of these platforms are open source, which means they are completely free to use, and you can definitely use them as a learning tool and resource to be able to simulate what it may look like in a real world organization, and maybe even create personal project around using a tool like Elastic Security, ingesting logs from different sources, and understand what organizations may be looking for if you were to be part of an SOC or a security operations center. And last but not least, Open Security Training. This is an online platform that provides free resources, provides free security training materials and video courses at various different learning levels, including beginner, intermediate, and advanced learners. They have everything ranging from courses to training videos to tutorials and walkthroughs, as well as lectures and labs, depending on what specific sector or topic that you're 
looking to learn. Open security training is specifically focused on hands-on practical experience, so you'll be able to work on labs that follow through with the courses and video trainings that you're watching, and it covers a huge variety of security topics, including exploit development, reverse engineering, software security, cryptography, malware analysis, basically provide you everything you need to get the hands-on experience in various different areas of cybersecurity. I highly recommend looking through their course catalog, and since the resources are pre-provided online, you're learning at your own pace and can be done fully remotely. You can use open security training as a student, an educator, just someone who is self-learning, as well as cybersecurity professionals who are already in the field. In fact, this was a free resource that was recommended to me by one of my previous colleagues. So this is a fairly well-known free learning resource that cybersecurity professionals are already using who are working in the field. All right, so that is it for this video. Hopefully this video provided you some free resources to get started in learning the skills to help you get into your cybersecurity career, whether you're going into the red team, the blue team, or anywhere in between. Don't forget to check out the Pulseway IT management platform linked in my description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!